Wi-Fi controlled elevator. You can see the webcam here. I hooked the webcam up to my Raspberry Pi. That's here. First let's log in on the Pi. There we are. I call this Columbus. So I'm going to change directory to my directory that we need. Almost. And now I'm going to start my shell script that starts the elevator control script in the background. And starts the remote control which is windowed as you can see. First let me show you this. If I type a question mark it will give us the status of the elevator. <coughs> what you can see here. When I type H or help it gives us the commands. I can instruct the elevator to go up, to go down, to stop. I can direct it to go to a floor and I can say I am at floor X and I want to go to floor Y and it will act accordingly. There's a queue in which it stores commands that, uh, that are given. I will show you that in a minute. And we can quit the elevator program. One last command is not here, that's the X, which quits the remote that we are looking at now. First let's say that we are on the ground floor and we want to go to level 3. There we go. Subsequently there's somebody at 2 who wants to go to 1. And then there's somebody at 2 who wants to go to 4. And then there's somebody at 3 who wants to go to 1. I will show you the queue. The elevator is in position 2. That means it passed the second floor and the destination is 3. So it was going up. It stopped now. So now it's at 3. Going down to 2 to service this request. When it's at 2 it will stop, like you see now, to go to 1. The queue is still holding two commands, as you can see. And on the camera you can see the elevator moving. There we go. Next command from 2 to 4. So it will go up to floor 2. There we are. It stops for a while. And then it goes up to 4, and after that it will process 3 to 1. Let me show you the status on the way up. It's going to 4. Here the position was 2, now it's 3, so it's past the third floor. It was at 4, and now it's processing this command. Somebody at 3 wants to go to the ground floor. We will see the elevator arrive here, top left corner of the screen. It was at 3, now it's going to 1. Q is empty. Now it's processing the 3 to 1 command, as you can see here. It passed the second floor and now it's to 1. The cycle ended. That's about it. I will close or quit the elevator control program. That is closed now and run in the background. And now I will close the remote. And there we are, back at the prompt. That's all for today.